Hi, I'm Kim Roberto. I'm the founder of Scrappy Cat. Today we're going to make this adorable cottage floral garden card and we're going to be exploring the techniques of using embossing powders and colored pencils that are watercolor pencils so you can do some blending. So all of the instructions will be listed below the project and we've already pre-cut some papers on the card. And the first step you're going to do is you're going to use a Sizzix embossing folder that was designed by Scrappy Cat with these beautiful florals. And then we're going to take out the border. Once you have the border out, we're going to go ahead and use some adhesive and adhere the border, oh, about three quarters of the way down onto the card. Now we're going to be moving on to the really fun part of this project, and that is we're going to use the new Scrappy Cat wood mounted stamps. Absolutely gorgeous gorgeous leaf here and I'm using our tart lime I'm going to stamp on this cute little flower and then I'm going to use another scrappy cat wood mounted stamp which is our florals and I will stamp on this little flower shape and then I'm thirdly going to use another scrappy cat flower which is really neat because if you take a look at the the covers of here, you can get some color ideas when you're uh, going to use your colored pencils and emboss. Okay, and then I stamped. The next step is going to be to emboss these images so that we can use colored pencils. So I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of embossing powder and then of course shake off the excess because then later on, as you can see, I can put it right back into my container and there's less waste. Pull out my heat gun and watch this embossing powder melt right into the design. As the heat hits the design, it melts the project. And here we go back onto our sunflower. Here we go. And this is where the fun begins. I am going to use colored pencils and shade in all of our flowers. And what you do is you just take a little bit of shading along the edge, just like this. You don't have to color it in completely. I would just recommend using one of your favorite colors on the outer edges of the petals, just like this. And then you're going to use a paintbrush with some water and you're going to blend in the color and pull it in. See how I'm pulling in this pink color into the flower petal itself and it gives it a smoother watercolor finish just like this and by having the edges of the flower embossed you will uh, not go outside the edges. You will keep everything centered in the way you want, you want your project to look. And here I'm going to add a little bit of orange to my yellow because I always like to shade in and this is really neat because you're going to get an orange yellow flare to the center of the flower and this is one of the great things about watercolor pencils look at how we can just shade this in so now the center of your flower not only has yellow but it also has a nice hue of orange so then what you would do is you proceed to finish watercolor penciling in your flower and I was going to show you another flower. Let's use a little bit of green because the project is green and pink. Let's be creative and keep things consistent. I'm going to shade the outer edges here. And then I'm going to add my sunshine yellow to the inside and along the edges of the stamped embossed design. And you see how you can see the texture of the paper through the stamp. Now when you add a little bit of water in your paintbrush, it's going to smooth out all of that texture and give you just this wonderfully shaded center of a flower. And I was even able to pull this color from this flower and pull it over to here. Look at this. That way the shading is exact. You didn't add too much yellow, too much green, and you keep the color the same on the entire floral design. Once you have all three of your elements completely shaded in, you will add them onto your card as it shows on the web. These right here are not colored in, but you will uh, you know, create it any way you would like. Add your ribbons and you are done. So thank you for joining us here at Scrappy Cat. I hope you enjoy your cottage style 
card and have a wonderful day.